Today I'm going to show you how to change the bit on your Maslow. I have my machine here and my laptop. I also have the button pusher, a bit, and a wrench which is needed for the DeWalt router. What I'm going to do first is connect to my machine through my laptop and raise the z-axis up. It really only needs to be high enough that your hands can fit under it, but if you max it out, don't worry about it. You'll just hear the stepper motors click a little. Decided I wanted it a little higher. And there we go. What I'm going to do next is take the button pusher. There is a semicircular hole on the underside of the clamp that the button pusher will fit in. And you slide it up in there till it clicks and you might take kind of a rocking motion to make it nest in there correctly. That's going to apply pressure to a button on the router which will allow you to turn the collar to loosen and open up that uh, router collet. You add your bit in, and I'm going to show you that I can adjust the length of the bit by sliding it up and down. You want to make sure that it's longer than the material you're trying to cut, but other than that, you want it to be just long enough, not too long. Then you can tighten up the collar by hand, and eventually when it gets tight enough, you're going to want to use that wrench to add the final uh, little bit of tightness. This can be a little tricky with the supports for the Maslow getting in the way, so you might want to try to tighten it from various angles. This wrench should fit the DeWalt router rather well. And you can see that I'm going to put a little bit of force on it because we don't want that bit moving. Now that it is nice and tight, you can test it out, and then you simply pull the button pusher down, and it should pop out, and then your router bit is free to spin. After that, you can use the interface on your laptop to lower the z-axis back down. And then you should be good to go.